Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. That's right, that's the first and only time I'm going to be doing that. Smile to Jannah. I asked you lot, what shall I do about the gaming videos? And you guys overwhelmingly voted, I think about 70% that I should start a new gaming channel. So, I started it today. Don't forget to subscribe. It's just games. Yeah, so my attention was there. I don't even have a logo or banner for that channel. I haven't even uploaded a video yet. But the amount of messages I've got about this Asian Super Mario looking bloke has said that he would like to ban 26 verses. Yeah, and apparently he's in some prominent position. He's taking it to the Supreme Court. Obviously you and I know he clearly has the IQ of a raisin. Say what? Now before we even jump to this, let's hear what his brother has to say. And if that's not all, is what the Asian Super Mario says next. <laughs> yeah, let me break this down for you. He says, if I feel like I'm losing, I'm gonna kill myself. That doesn't... Why would you do that if you're on the truth? Doesn't that seem counterproductive? On the one hand, he's saying, I'm on the truth, mate. Everyone's left me and I'm still happy. But then if you start losing, you're gonna kill yourself. I mean, here's what his brother had to say. The fact that the people see him as a, a, a Shia Muslim is ridiculous, frankly. Whatever he is, Shia or Sunni, regardless, the Shias are cheesed off, the Sunnis are cheesed off. There's so much cheese, mate, that you could top a... I don't know, I'm not committed to that joke. <gasps> What? And then his brother says something which I think probably I would have said, but he says it really well. It will continue to be attacked. Yeah, because obviously it comes from Allah, it's the truth. And for the people that are enemies of the truth or they disagree with the truth, sometimes they get frustrated or whatnot. So they will continue doing that. But Allah has promised to protect it. Nobody can change a verse of the Quran. Forget a verse, a word. Forget a word, even a dot of the Quran. Yeah, because Allah has promised. Whoa. I've asked little kids. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Lam yalid wa lam yalid. Sir, what about Allahu samad? This is a little kid. And that's the second smallest surah in the Quran. If a little kid can tell if you've taken a verse out, but this can't be said about the Bible. Yeah, I had the New International Version and the King James Version. And one of the chapters... Uh, and verses, one of the verses I think of Book of John, entire chunk of it is missing from one version to the other. But anyway, I digress mate. But what is also interesting guys is why, why do you think he's actually doing it? Yeah, I mean India is just, it's, it's a mess at the moment. With the BJP, it's an absolute mess. Open lynchings, like they've gone crazy. That that country, if that leader doesn't leave anytime soon, it's on a sharp decline, frankly. And you know what, Wasim, if you are a genuine individual, I'm sure you know that the Bible also preaches violence. In fact, most of the violence that's taken place are by Christians. The war on terror, that whole campaign, the amount of people that have been killed using military technology. I mean, George W. Bush, has said. Mr. Bush reported as having said, quote, God would tell me, George, go and fight those terrorists in Afghanistan, and I did. And then God would tell me, George, go and end the tyranny in Iraq, and I did. On the other hand, you have the Mahabharat, the Hindu scripture. Look at what's going on in India, and the police and the government being complicit in this. Are you going to also ban the Mahabharat? And let's not forget the Tripikata. This is the Buddhist holy book. The Buddhist mindless killings in Myanmar. Yeah, look, if you want to ban, ban, ban all of them. Yeah, but when you ban all of them, what are you leaving yourself open to? Atheism, yeah, and we know what atheism is also capable of. I just need to mention three names, Pol Pot, Hitler, and of course Stalin. If you're so genuine, look at the country you're living in, India. Violence, galore. Are you going to be speaking against the BJP? Yeah, the, the Hindus in that country, are they're, they're no joke. They're going to skewer you and barbecue you in front of the people. Yeah, with the Muslims, they've done a few marches, burnt a few effigies and made a few speeches. Yeah, the Hindus there, 
speak against them. And then we'll see if you're there saying, oh, uh, I'm speaking the truth and that sort of stuff. Speak the truth against the people that you need to speak the truth against. My man, give it up top. <laughs> There's no government on this planet, Muslim government, that is complicitly supporting terrorism to the level that India, the United States, the United Kingdom and countries, uh, uh, Russia are doing. Yet these are big, big countries. How comes these truth sayers? I'm speaking the truth. I'm standing up for the truth. How comes people don't speak against these? Or the banking system, yeah? Or big pharma. Oh, no, 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 we can't. No, 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 no. Banning is not the answer. Educating people, that's the answer. There are verses that you have clearly misunderstood because they're verses to do with self-defense or legitimate warfare. Yeah, not going and killing innocent people. It's absolutely ludicrous how you can claim to be an edu- uh, in, in fact, I'm surprised that the Supreme Court is even allowing its name to be attached to you, frankly. Yeah, they should kick you out in front of everyone. Yeah, because it's ridiculous. It's an insult to the nation of India. India is my country. I love my country. Shut up. It's an insult to the judicial system. And in a time of uh, corona problems, we should be uniting and bringing people together. Alright guys, so let's leave it there. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to the gaming channel. Assalamu alaikum.